Okay. This is going to be a video on the over the head lockout pirouette that Nevisol does in his old stuff, new stuff video. Um, this move's a lot of fun. You need to know your lockout and your pirouettes and to understand your pirouettes and how they work. Because the hardest part about this trick is probably knowing why you have to time it the way that you do. Um, and I don't have these 100% down yet. This is more so to teach anybody who's watching it and uh, break it down. Um, so that hopefully you guys can learn it too. And then maybe even help me out getting it smoothed. Um, so what you're going to want to practice is doing your pirouette up over your head, so like here. And then you might even want to practice doing your pirouette here, and allowing them to pass behind you. And what you want to do when you allow them to pass behind you, when you're practicing, I'll try to do this right here. Maybe I'll kneel and try to give you an idea of what's going on. I don't know if I'm in frame like this, but we the pull AR. So I do this pirouette. I want to let my right hand, oh, this hand, pass behind me before my left hand. That's probably the most important point that I figured out. And I know I keep stumbling. I'm, man, I'm getting tired. Um. But, get into your lockout, allow your there we go. And the way that I do these is I bring my hands together and I clap them. Bring one like this and one like this, so that my right hand will pass behind my head, my left hand will follow it, and my body will follow all of that around, and then unwrap in front of me. Um, and you might want to practice it without your hands together first, just with them, like your wrists together. Because that's incredibly, or very, very much so easier and the other way, but we'll get you a feel for the move. See, when your left hand passes behind you first, you're going to get hung up. It's not going to turn around and come out the way that it should. So one more time. I know I probably look like an idiot doing these, but there we go. Whoa! Be careful. Um, when the pulley doesn't go behind you, it goes to your head. Just to practice with soft poi. Very recommended. Um, well, I hope that you guys are getting the idea of it. Just bring your hands together as close as you can get them don't have to be touching the way that you'll have it when it's smooth, but at least wrist together. Let your right poi pass behind you. As your right poi passes, allow your body to follow it. It will pop out and it will look like that. Just like any other pirouette. Soft boy.
Okay. I don't want to run out of video, so I hope that that works. Hope somebody figures that out from that video. If there's any tips anybody has, let me know. There we go. Okay. Alright. Have a good one.